Continuing coverage as first responders are speaking out about the crash near Rushville that killed three children and two adults on Monday. Our Julia Rozier was in Rushville yesterday to gather what first responders are saying. Julia? The Schuyler County Sheriff tells me the whole community here is still coping with the tragedy. He added that this also hits close to home for many first responders. It's tough. There's no question on first responders uh, because, uh, you know, maybe they've seen it before. The Schuyler County community is still coping with the loss of three children and two adults in a bus crash on Monday. Sheriff Bill Redshaw says this hit close to home for many first responders. Sometimes you think you've seen it all, but something like this is entirely different when it involves uh, you know, three three young kids like that and et cetera. And yeah, it's, it's going to be tough on them. Sheriff Redshaw added that he's worried about first responders who saw the crash firsthand. Some of them have their own kids and some have grandkids, and that makes it really tough. I mean, they, they sit there, and I know I've heard a lot of them say, guys, that could have been mine. And Sheriff Redshaw says these first responders have responded to many incidents before, but it's still difficult. There's not training that can, can prepare you for things like this. You just have to... Uh, be as tough as you can. Officials are still investigating and Sheriff Redshaw tells me that first responders will be briefed by state police. Reporting in Schuyler County, I'm Julia Rosier. Back to you. The Rushville community gathered together to honor the five lives that were lost in the fatal crash. Flags were at half staff and candles were lit during a vigil Wednesday night for the victims. Hundreds of people were in the town square throughout the night as they sang and prayed together with local pastors. I would like to say how proud I am of our citizens of this community. And when a tragedy hits like this, boy, do we come out and help them. We get stronger. City officials are collecting donations through Friday. Proceeds will go to the victims of the family.